Okay guys, welcome back to some more Warcraft Total War. Um, I think it's part 4. And well, it's probably part 4. It's definitely early in the campaign. Now I think the volume may have been a bit too loud on the uh, first two episodes. Maybe episode 3 as well. Um, hopefully this one will be a little better. We did get a lot of battles in the first two or three episodes, didn't we? Um, what's he doing over there? Yeah, going to see what's up there. Right, we're spending all of our money on uh, recruiting units, aren't we? Because we still got a lot of Scourge to kill off. But we have managed to get our troops down from the uh, continent of Northrend. Because we did abandon um, a little settlement that we had. Where was it? I can't even see it now. It was right there. Yeah, we abandoned that. Because... We couldn't recruit anything there, and it would be a while before we could recruit anything. And we're surrounded by enemies up here, and then that's all that we had up there was a tiny little village. So we brought the troops back. Uh, we've got the Forsaken Capital under siege. Now, I suspect that they have a lot more territory, which would mean that having a spy would be very useful. But we did kill their faction heir in the last episode, I believe when they besieged half Glen, my capital. So, we don't have artillery, but we will have siege equipment, and I don't know if it's going to spawn a garrison or not. Whereas this one is probably going to go over there. We can get that one under siege, and then push from here, clear these ones out, and... Um, I don't know, maybe put an army on there, on that crossing. Because there's still a full stack at the Scourge Capital, and over here. Um, so, I'm being outproduced. I believe I've got a diplomat somewhere. No. Yeah, and I think he's got a mission to go and visit the dwarves of Kazmodan. Yeah, it is Kazmodan, I believe. I'd be completely wrong. You were on scouting mission. We faced Duke Rage Reaver before. Hmm. Now we've already got another new um, campaign out. We've got Call of Warhammer, beginning of the end times, with the faction of Nordland. And that's actually going really well, that campaign. Now we're not worried about them. <clears throat> Extra units. We're still making good money. Or decent money. We don't have any corruption at the moment. He does not have very good movement range. Can I get another one? No. Right. Can you actually get to them? Or should we just put you there? Yeah, they build a fort. Right. Ah, he's come over here. Right. We may have to just merge them up. Get him in. Or them in. What are we looking at here? Like um, militia archers, well, highwaymen, mercenaries. Got one regular unit and some crossbows. I think they'll probably all be heavy cavalry. I mean, that's just one guy in there. We could take him out and recruit two in, couldn't we? Yeah, he can't even get over there. Hmm. Well, you know what? Let's send him on a mission. Aha, we found a minor settlement. That's not going to do anything. He's only going to get one build point. Eichmann. <clears throat> now, they don't have too many cavalry. They'll have skeleton raiders. Probably in a couple of units of those. Human archers will have... Being able to use flaming arrows, weren't they? Yeah. Right. He was going on a scouting mission. We found Captain... Was it? Kumanji? Kunanji. Right, because they've got a little village up there. Right. And these ones merged up. Mostly. Let's 
nicely about taking them out. This will draw back some of their troops, I think. Pikemen and got some cavalry in there. Right, that's all that we can do for the moment, I think, because we still got a lot of enemies. Nobody likes us. Well, it is a shame because we do have money left over. No, um, we'll actually start building up the lever tanner, can we? What do we get from the mines? Something, not much. Right, you're going to have to do something. Ah, uh, we can find out now if they have a garrison or will spawn one. They are not. Alright, let's see how bad this goes for me. Uh, not too bad. It was unfortunate our two or three best units were at the front. They did not spawn a garrison. Uh, this is the first time I've played this campaign, the, um, well, the Scarlet Crusade, but in the second campaign, uh, the Frozen Throne campaign. And in the uh, very first campaign that you get to choose, there's a lot of settlements that actually spawn garrisons, quite big ones. Um, oh yeah, I'm surprised there. I mean, they're quite happy, aren't they? I think we'll just walk in. Oh, did we wipe them out? No way. The Forsaken. Seriously, we just wiped out the Forsaken on turn six. Ah, I don't even know what other territory they would have had unless we do a map reveal. But, um... You know what we could do? Where is it? Um... Let's see, Forsaken, 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 wherefore art thou Forsaken? Oh, Raki, yeah, done those. Oh dear, and Forsaken. Alright, let's go to territory. Production, they've totally crashed. Territorial. Ah, oh, then they really didn't have but maybe one element. Um, something, somebody died in there and that was a village, wasn't it? Wow. That's good to know that they can be wiped out that easily. I think he may. He may have been with them. Right. Oh, we can now get an assassin and spy from over here. And we can retrain our best units. We've got a Cathedral of Light. Why is there a Cathedral of Light in the Forsaken? I don't know the lore, but somebody fill me in. There's a Black Citadel. Undead Trade Quarter. Major Study. Ah, Priest. That's the uh, basic wizard unit, isn't it? A lot of good buildings in here, including mushroom farming. Wow. <clears throat> Well, that would get us the artillery, medium farms, dockyard, mines. So we can now get priests. Yeah, those are our best ones. Grand Scarlet Crusaders, Onslaught Crusaders. Oh, we don't have any of them. And we did have some of them. I don't know if we still got them. Yeah, we can already get those ones. But there, Priest of the Holy Light. And an assassin. Spy. And merchants now. Woohoo! Good for us. Uh, took most of our money. We our percent growth will definitely ramp that one up. Alright. Well, good for us. That will definitely help out. So we know that there are no Scourge over here. We could definitely do with some map info. 
because I don't know how many regions have been changed from that previous campaign. Because I have played a personal Lordaeron campaign, or did I upload that one? And there's actually quite a few regions up in this northwest sector. Oh, they're actually carrying out, coming out. They're going to wipe them out. My little one dude. Well, he also got a captain. Right. Because, yeah, there should be several regions over there. One down here. Another village there. A couple, maybe three cities over there. Before we went into, what was it, Stromgard territory? I think it is. Yeah, they melted away quite a bit. <clears throat> We do have a mixed reputation. That's demanding. Well, could we just sell it to them, even though they are apparently poor dwarves? Just accepted. Alright, get out there and start scouting around. Ooh, what was the mission? Two units of human pikes at the capital. I guess I disbanded all of my ships as well, didn't I? Alright. They did not come out to do anything. They've got this army boxed in on both sides. We've got extra generals there. I think we can only get two units in there. Blacksmith. One of port. More trade. Human knight. We don't have any of those ones yet. How many men do they have? 125, 125. They take one turn. Yeah, get them. So we can see what they're like. And who do we have in here? Is it a general? Is it? <clears throat> God will be with us, men. To battle. No, not. Ah, oh, zombies. And the champions. Alright. Go get him. Start your engines. Alright. You don't want to be there. Because you're in a dangerous position. If you're there. Very easy to kill them off. Alright, I suppose. Oh, I've got some riflemen actually. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. The enemy are bringing in reinforcements. Let them. Let them, I say. Will we be able to decimate these for quick? They can all do field war. Yeah, can't blow his horn, can he? Ah, those are the Argent Dawn ones. They've proven to be stronger than our uh, regular ones. The ones who are in our uh, faction colours. Or well, they have in the past few battles. I should have to look to see if they have the same stats or not. Right, you're going to have to get closer. Get a little bit closer, baby. That looks like an impressive beard there. I wonder how old this chap is.
So the Argent Dawn are supposed to be less fanatical than our uh, rest of our troops. Uh, more willing to deal with other factions in the game. They're like a splinter group of the Scarlet Crusade. Usually you can't hit them. One of you can. You're not firing, you're not firing, and you're not firing. For some reason we can't even get over there. Yeah, that tree's blocking us. For some odd reason. Ah, we fought there before, haven't we? Yeah. Cool little settlement. You still can't reach them. You can. Oh, we've killed 5%. The enemy should come in somewhere around there. Hmm. That's crossbow. You'll be more effective against them. And you'll be even more effective against those. That one's gone. Rifleman. Yep, they're coming in. Only half the enemy force remains. You don't even need to go over there. Get them out of the way. Anyone we could pick off? No, oh, there's a heavy infantry. Heavy infantry. Harbards. And we don't want to mess with harbards. How are you doing? Almost wiped them out. You have met the enemy. The battle is in our favor. If we remain true and wholehearted, victory that rocks is ours. messing them up. We're actually doing quite well against elves and soldiers. They're basically a militia unit. We are blessed. The enemy general is dead. Yep. We have sent the idiot to hell. Get away. Now, you wouldn't have broken them, because they are undead, but you wiped them out, blast, that was quick. Seriously. Marching forwards. Wait until they got their backs turned to us. I 
go on, get stuck in. Oh, you're taking a lot of casualties. Why are you taking so many casualties? Battle is in our favor. If mm -hmm. we remain true and wholehearted, the charge the will be ours. Now you have a crack at them. You might be able to wipe them out. Only half the enemy force remains. Alright, now have you stopped firing? Not most of them. I told you to stop firing. And he's taking those down to four. And down to 16, 11, you are on go guard mode aren't you? You're also on guard mode. Yep, those are all gone. And we lost about 3% maybe. One year today. Yep, 5%. No returns. Well, that's only a small battle, um, but it is clearing out the Scourge. And we did wipe out the Forsaken. That's pretty cool, isn't it? <clears throat> They've got large city up there. Well, I think it's a large city, isn't it? A most honorable victory, my noble lord. God be praised for blessing us with victory. Hmm. Well, I'm just going to walk in. Play cauldron. Right. That has a very long way to go. And uh, that's my faction leader, isn't he? Got a lot of authority. He is only 45, but he's got a lot of grey hair. That's been paid for. That's been paid for. And you're out there moving around. Money will start to go up. Hmm. But we can now recruit from three locations, or we will soon. Five, three, three, four, twelve, mean two, three. Yep, very soon. Oh, one turn. One more turn. Right, that's where we'll end this one. So, we're going to have to deal with them. Did they pull any out? No. Action here. I'm not pulling any units out. You must be creating new ones. This one currently only has four units and it is a minor city. It would be nice to get up there, put that one under siege maybe draw them back but we'll see in the next episode